2 Corinthians 4 verse 16 Therefore we do not lose heart, but though our outer man is decaying, yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. Brother Witness Lee testified I have a word specifically for the co-workers. God has put us in the world so that our presence would create a hunger and thirst for righteousness in sinners, believers, and the world. There must be an enigmatic freshness, power, nourishment, and supply within us that will drive others to seek after God by our presence. Others should have a desire to seek after God as a result of meeting us and speaking to us. If our reading of the Bible, prayer, service, and gospel preaching do not produce such a powerful hunger within man, our work has failed. Brother Lee continues, many who knew Miss Barber can testify that she was very different from others. Whenever someone went to her and sat in front of her, spontaneously he would realize how much he was off. He would realize that he did not have what she had and would aspire for what she had. Fifteen years ago when I first became a Christian, I was very proud. I thought highly of myself because I was able to read one or two chapters of the Bible a day with some understanding. Very few people are proud outwardly, most people are proud inwardly. I went to her to tell her about this. After I prayed a few words with her, I saw my pride before she even opened her mouth to rebuke me. I knew that I did not have what she had. This is foot washing. My feet were washed by her presence. I met God. Prior to that I was living outside of God, and I was old and dark. But once I came to her, I was refreshed and enlightened. We often have the same sensation we feel that we are washed after talking to certain brothers. Our spiritual energy is revived, we can touch and feel God once more. This is foot washing. Praise the Lord.